Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. We're on Train Sim Classic, which is a bit of a rarity these days. Uh, we're going to be taking a look today at the Vegetation Enhancement Pack. However, a slight twist in it, it's not actually the Enhancement Pack that we're looking at. We're actually looking at is the Enhancement ported into the Worry Lines. So AP actually updated their route to facilitate some of the trees from the pack into this route. So quite a good way of maybe having a good little try before you buy, if you've already got Worry Lines, maybe. So I'm going to do. I'm actually doing that myself. I might pick them up at some point. I'm not probably got uh, going to get them anytime soon. Like, but um, it'll be on the sort of back burn for at some point down the line, depending on how I find this drive today. I've not seen them yet, other than some pictures on um, the website. So, me taking a good look at this is actually the first time I'm going to see these trees. So um, yeah, let's see what they're all about. Um, if you've got Worry Lines um, 2.0 um grab yourself the update you'll get the um the trees i don't think they're all included but i think they're basically a selection of uh, what's needed um to override what's originally in the uh, in the route basically um so let's get that off uh it's been ages since i played this game christ i'm trying to figure out what the key controls are uh, i think i figured it out <laughs> right let's get some doors open Trying the class 37 as well today. We'll go with that one, I think. I like that one. Right, let's get some GSMR details in. We're doing uh, one of the Sonoras from the Wary Lines, which is 2P17, the 11 of 17 Great Yarmouth Sonora, which is about 35 minutes ago in total. It'll give us a nice uh, chance to see some of the trees in action. Uh, so, 2P17. 17 is our head code and we are at signal no idea yeah we'll have a look on her it's got the code uh, three i'll just put double three on there all right what we got on our consist we have 37 425 concrete bob and absolute truncheon uh, and on the back we have 4.05 and that is us, uh, we've been given the tip, we are off. Everything ramped up bar the clag. There's gone for clag nine, but everything else is at six. Uh, so turbo on six, horns on five, motors are on six as well. Uh, so we're already getting the first glances of a bit of foliage there. So there's one of the trees. Uh, I noticed some bushes as well. There's some bushes there. They do look a little bit like VP bushes, them in a in a way. Maybe a little bit more refined than the VP bush, but they've got a VP esque look to them. The tree didn't, but the bushes definitely do. Now, the main pack is listed as the vegetation pack. However, it isn't really a full vegetation pack because the grasses aren't changed. It's just trees and bushes. So, vegetation, name may be a little bit misleading, but it's trees and bushes, really. It should probably be named as trees and bushes EP, but we are where we are. Uh, it's only 3D, it doesn't do anything to the 2D stuff, um, so you will see this 2D stuff knocking at the, the original stuff, as you can see in the distance already. Uh, I can spot another tree over there, so I have no idea what type of tree it is. It's a, it's a tree. <laughs>
So again, you can see more of these 3D trees. You can see all other variations of these bushes at all different sizes. Um, yeah, they're, they're looking alright, to be honest, then. Not bad at all. Got some good depth to them. I'm noticing all the bushes are the same colour. I'm sure there's any differences in maybe some different shades of green. All looking the same. I can, to be fair as well, understand why the, the, the sort of grass and stuff wasn't all really looked at. Because the, the 2D foliage in terms of weeds and bushes doesn't really look that bad at all. There's some decent stuff all over the other side. I can understand why all this wasn't looked at. There'll be a lot of work as well, obviously. Jump back in here. At the minute, there's not many trees. It's just bushes, really. It will go into tree area uh, sections in a in a short while. Obviously, the way this has been done is obviously swapping the stuff that's like sort of like for like. That's why you'll see some bits in the distance as well. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the um, the update doesn't well, not the update, but the pack itself doesn't um, overwrite kuju foliage. So I believe there is still kuju stuff knocking about the roots, which is what I've seen on um, the community discords and Facebook pages. Uh, over the course of the evening, whilst people have obviously been getting to uh, getting well acquainted with the pack, uh, the main the main pack for the foliage itself is fourteen ninety nine. I think it is. I'm going to double check this just to make sure I am not chatting horse poo. <laughs> uh, yeah, fourteen ninety nine is the uh, the price of the pack. Uh, I'm just going to I'll cover what's actually in the main pack. Uh, you know, we're not looking at the main pack. We are looking at some of the packing in this update. The so worry. Um, you get 62 individual 3D bush and tree assets, uh, lines and groups of assets to uh, assist in placement, optimise so not to affect frame rates uh, compared to existing 3D assets, seasonal visuals for summer, autumn, spring or winter, and no popping effect as you go further away. So that's one of the big things with the, uh, the DG foliage, when you got near it, it pops, sort of, the pops into view, sort of LED pops. Um, covers a, an absolute plethora of routes. Um, there's a manual. There's actually a manual as well. Uh, I don't think it tells you what types of trees you get. It's just a very, very minor one. It just tells you what routes are actually as well. And the manual actually has more routes listed rather than the website. What the supports? I am well speeding. Real speeding. Um, routes it supports is uh, Welsh Marches, Birmingham Cross City, Chatham Mainline, London Gillingham, Chatham Mainline Medway Valley Line, Chatham Mainline London Dover Ramsgate, East Coast Mainline London Peterborough, the Five Circle, uh, Great Eastern Mainline, Huddersfield Line, Liverpool Manchester, London to Brighton, London to Faversham High Speed. North London Line, North London Line and Goblin Lines, North Wales Coast, Portsmouth Direct Line, Riviera Line, Settle to Carlisle, South London Network, South Wales Coastal, South Western Main Line, West Coast Main Line South, West Coast Main Line Over Shat, and Suburban Glasgow North West Springburn Helensburg and also Suburban Glasgow Airdrie Extension. Those are all the supported routes. If you want to use these trees in your own routes, you literally can do so. You can uh, go to the AP uh, dev folder and pick Veg EP, and then you can place them trees in your own route. However, if you didn't want to buy the £15 pack and you just want to use the trees that are at hand from the worry route, that folder still is there. You can actually go to AP and tick the Veg EP, and you will uh, be able to use whatever trees the worry line gives you. 
I say, it, I don't think it's the whole lot from what I had a look at in the folder. It looks like the subset types are missing in the list, but there's a good section in there. There's a, actually a fair few. So you could probably get a decent looking route out of it. I mean, obviously, there's a, there's a full route plaster in here. You can see all them trees in the distance just popped in. Very nice looking bushes to both of them. Some of the old ones are still left in there. That's a DTG one. Not sure if them are the little trees actually that are sunk into the ground. I don't think they're bushes. Tell you what, they do change the, the way the route looks. FPS wise, I'm getting a solid 51 currently. It's hard to imagine what the route actually looked like with all these trees. <laughs> It definitely feels different, though. Again, it's one of these packs where, same for me in the same stance as the Cloud EP, is like, did I need more trees? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. But they're nice. I still haven't got the Cloud EP. I've got the Sweat 2 on, which is what you'll see on this. I think, if anything, if I was going to get the trees, I'd probably pick these up in a sale again. They're nice. They are very nice. I don't think having the Worry Lines update would um, update anything that exists other routes, anyway, because it's a separate it's a separate thing, so I won't, won't be expecting the uh, trees off this update to go updating other routes. But honestly, if, if you've got the worry route, you might as well go and grab an update now. At least have a go at them. It's the one here, look. It's so weird playing this game after so long. Oh, that's a float. That's a floating tree, though. However, uh, these are existing kuju foliage that are still here, so that obviously shows that not everything has been updated. Uh, but yeah, which is a shame because they look a little bit odd with the new stuff. A very stark difference. Also, uh, them bushes are floating as well, for whatever reason. Definitely be worth flying through the route to ensure there's nothing floating. I do like that tree, it's very nice. And some branches do like that, that may be floating flower. All in all, though, the, in the general look of these trees are very nice. So you're obviously getting a route and have a look yourself. It's hard to tell just what you're going to get until, uh, obviously, just looking at pictures is, doesn't show you everything. But just that view there definitely feels different from what the route looked like in past. I can't honestly remember what it would look like. I'd have to find and try and find a screenshot. So if someone's taking a screenshot somewhere like this angle. We'll see more different types of trees hopefully shortly as we're getting near to like going to the Norwich area. Brundle area and Brundle Gardens should uh, have a nice variety. Also, we are starting to see a few more trees popping in because we're getting away from the flat areas.
that dirty clad coming from the rear one. I don't think I'd change the, uh, the setup on it. It'll just be whatever it defaulted as. Yeah, this one actually, I mean, this 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 pack was announced very recently, really, only about a week ago, I think, on the newsletter. Um, it was sort of, I think, teased of a, a pack, and then all of a sudden, I won't say, no, actually, no, let me start, let me go back a little bit. So let's go back to Powerhouse Thursday. A screenshot was posted of Powerhouse Thursday, and it was using worry lines, and automatically you could see the new trees. The trees were in there, and I think that was a, a, obviously a cute teaser. I don't think tons of people really picked up on it or really said much of it, but then obviously the, the general chat from the uh, newsletter came in. Obviously, the new general EPs on the horizon. Blah blah blah, and then AP posted another screenshot um, of what's uh, obviously. There's a screenshot with the 318 and oh there's something new in this picture what is it a few people picked up already it was right about where it was trees that you know i can tell it's trees um some people thought it was actually in other bits and pieces but yeah obviously tree so a week later or some not even a week later i don't think really and then uh, here we are the um i noticed that uh, the banner was updated on the facebook page and all of a sudden the trees were available so pretty quick turnaround really from uh, in terms of Announcing and releasing wasn't really any uh, massive teasers in terms of like foliage types. The usual, um, the usual caveats as in showing the different variations, like you know, with your liveries, not not liveries, but obviously like variations with the types of trees would have been nice to have potentially seen. Build a bit of hype, but there's a nice selection of befores and afters to be fair. So if you go to the AP Facebook page uh, for the product. Um, I will put the product link in the description because it's obviously this video is relating to this. Um, there's a lot of befores and after shots. Looking at the pictures, I would say, I mean, obviously after looking at the foliage today on this video, is I would say there's uh, the, a lot of the foliage looks the same colour. There's not masses in differences from what I've seen so far. I mean, all the bushes are the same colour. Maybe some different shades would have been nice just to add to mix of varieties I mean some of the trees do have different shades of green which I'll give for that some nice trees on the left hand side though I do like honestly I do actually think the trees look decent not sure whether the brand new ones or potentially uh, maybe goose involvement I'm not overly sure to be honest uh, where in what's been used whether they've been brand new scratch built for this pack purpose there I'm not too sure It's nice to see stuff obviously updating the look of roots. And to be fair, to see it actually being ported through into this route as well, as it, to be fair, it's pretty decent because really, it's giving the trees away for free in, in, in an update. It doesn't have to do that. could have left the route as it was. So, I mean, yeah, fair play. Trying to get a screenshot is going to be... Uh, It's not like a slideshow zoom in like that. Bloody hell. Wow. Why is it doing that? Is it focusing on a bit of foliage? It's really like tanking. I don't know, but there's some old foliage still knocking around here. Not everything can be made. Ooh, now they're nice little fir trees. Ooh, I like them. I do like the look of them.
trying to get some ver variety in terms of like potential thumbnails here because we obviously want to capture the tree. We also want to train in it. <laughs> um, yeah. I really am wondering what on earth was tanking FPS then when I zoom in because it was like something obviously was killing it. Something was felt brought into focus and must have not liked it. What we do with looking for screenshots of a nice open area for the text at the top of the picture, usually where the sky is. Obviously we've got the focus of the train and obviously the, the, the key focus is the foliage of course. Now I don't know how true this is. I have seen talks of the trees don't have lots. I don't know how credible creditable that is or how true that is, so I'm not gonna say it is a definite but it's 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 a rumour I've seen out in the chat. Out and about. Still a bit odd that some of these old trees are still knocking about. Like, I'm, I don't understand how come they've all not been changed. Really, I would have expected all them old, the older 3D ones to have gone. It's a bit odd that there's still some knocking about because it's a bit of a random look, new and old. Understandable with the 2D trees, but the 3D trees, I would have thought of all, all of them should have been swapped out in my eyes. Same again there, you've got a right old mix. You've got all these nice new fir trees over here. You've got that big clump of old stuff. Then you've got these nice lovely new bits and pieces all here. But yeah, it's a bit of a bit of an odd lash up in terms of uh, all very old and new varying mixing of foliage together. The way I the way I see it is that the fault that the, the vegetation EP for the trees there should be a replacement for all types. Whether it's just a few of them have been missed out, I don't know, but you would have thought that they'd have gone through the whole route and checked to make sure everything had been swapped if that was the case. Hopefully stuff like that might go we might go back and if you've missed something they'll go back and fix and update it to suit. Fingers crossed. Let me go down here, let's have a look. Yeah, that's looking nice. So these look quite nice with the 2D trees. They, they, they do blend in quite nicely together. Yeah, they do look good. This station still hurts me that it's still got the uh, old kit bash. Wish this one had got an update. I wish all the stations had updates in custom assets, to be honest. Oh, car straight through the crossing. Fantastic. Literally ignoring the barriers there, are we, mate? <laughs> Shoot, these are, are these a silver birch? I'm not a tree veg, so I don't have a freaking clue what I'm talking about here, what types of trees or what. <laughs> maybe an oak or something there, I'm not too sure. There's a pub name after Mark there, the bell. Missing three letters at the end. They definitely have changed the way the route looks. There's no denying that. Mark. It's 
Let's make a zoom in again now. FPS does dip right down. It turns into a slideshow. I'm wondering if it is actually quite credible. There's no uh, lobs on these trees. I honestly like these fir trees, though. Some really, really nice trees, though. I think they're my favourite. Literally. I can't take a screenshot because it's got the old stuff there, something. We've got a few bits of foliage, obviously these have all been swapped out, I presume, like, mass swapping. There's a few bits of the encroaching over, sort of like, touching the train and that. And they're all, you can tell they've been swapped out because they're all sort of facing the same direction in terms of that like, bit hanging out. Another type of fir tree there, by looks of it. Are they new? Were they TS Academy ones? I think they're TS Academy ones. I think this area got updated at some point anyway. They do, I think they are TS Academy ones and compared to. You can tell the difference between them, obviously, uh, how clear they look. These look more clear and them ones look a lot more old looking blurry textures. Again, we've got this old stuff that's still knocking around. Good show. Moving swiftly on, we are heading to Norwich. It's four miles. That will wrap us up for this. Again, what you see here, this is all off the Wary Lines update, so I haven't got the vegetation pack at the minute have just some of the vegetation back included off the wary update which is a free update if you've got wary lines 2.0 i presume only wary lines 2.0 i don't think you can get anything on the old one now but that the old one's unsupported But what these these trees will look nice with as well is working with the TS Academy 2D foliage because they're a bit more darker in shade. So I think they will complement each other quite nicely. Obviously, some different types of 2D trees are lighter and darker off different routes. Depends where the routes they come from. Again, I'm not reviewing or anything like that. It's just, just taking a look and just showing you what you get. 
this is really a kind of try before you buy if you, if you haven't got it and you've got worry download it have a look make your mind up if it's for you if it's, if it's for you go for it and get the full thing and update all your routes it's quite a good way of doing it actually to be fair whether that was AP's intention or not, I don't know but it's definitely a it's a good idea One thing I'd like to see maybe is obviously the other trees that are the older stuff updated just to get rid of them because they look a bit odd alongside the new ones potentially if there's LOD issues and maybe they have, they have the logs attended to so obviously when we zoomed in it really did tank FPS there must be something there a bit of a miss there overall though the visuals do look good They do change the way the roots look quite a lot. There's one thing I did notice and obviously the popping thing where it said on the manual. Then the, the, the legs pop in. What? Look, the, the legs have gone. We don't get that with the new ones because they don't pop. That's one big difference to what you see. Which would be a nice thing to see the rest of these trees like removed that shouldn't really be in, in my eyes. Now you've got these new trees. There's always one annoying fly on the, on the windscreen that you can never get rid of. Ninety the loo. Let's just come off the wash.
getting very late in the day now. I mean, it's like ten past one in the morning. I'm just finishing, up, obviously finishing up recording now. So I'm rather tired. Oh, it's a yawn on uh, microphone. I do apologise if you catch a bit of yawning. I'm not bored. <laughs> I'm just tired. It's been a very busy day, as always. What would have been interesting actually, I should have done is um, gone through the foliage itself and probably plonk them down quickly into, the, into an empty route just to, uh, so you can see what's what. Which you might do, you might see at the end of this. <laughs> I will do that because that actually shows you how much foliage you actually get. Not of the foliage you get in the uh, main pad, but the foliage you get from just updating the weather lines and just what you actually receive. Just sort of see how extensive it is. If, you, if, you, if, it's made, if it makes it viable, you can actually make enough foliage variation in a route without having to buy the main pad. Money saving expert tips. <clears throat> well, it's not really because if you buy weather lines, obviously, if you're better fresh buying weather lines. Obviously, cost you, but you've already got the route and you, you, you could be a winner winner. Right, let's do that. Well, we've obviously made it to Norwich. Right, so just a quick one. So, I have managed to get all the trees in. You've got to do a little bit of tinkering to get it working. Um, so, if you were to make yourself a route and you want to use these trees just off the worry update, what you'd have to do is tick the um, AP and then uh, veg ep tick box and then also you would have to enable worry lines for this to work because obviously these trees are like a list to worry lines obviously if you didn't, if you did it off the main pack itself you wouldn't have to do that um but there's a good number of things here um i did find that that the like the pre-made like rows didn't work for most things so you, you can use all the single placement ones but all yeah the rows didn't uh, seem to give you much now that isn't obviously a huge selection of trees there, but I think you could probably build something from that. The only thing I, I, when you see all these together, again, this is what I'm what I was saying before is that the variety in colours not very much. They all seem to be the very much the same. There's not a great deal breaking things up there. The trees themselves though uh, do look really nice. They've like got these weeping, I think these are weeping willow uh, trees. These. Branches there, the branches and like the trunks and stuff, and the roots. Good. There's all sorts. I think uh, everything. My sort of favourite ones are these sort of like fir trees and stuff like that, and oaks. There's quite a lot of oak trees included. We've got the bushes here as well, rows and stuff. Yeah, there's a there's a nice selection to get you going. Whether you could make a full route on it, I don't know, but. I bet you could probably get a good variety from it and do something. I think really, if you were going to do something, you'd have to have the whole pack, really. But um, yeah, not bad. There's a nice selection to get you going. And there you are. So don't forget, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell for future videos. Twitch from uh, Fridays and Sundays at twitch.tv forward slash tracing underscore TV. Um, and yeah, just thanks for watching the video. Like, uh, links are in the description below for the uh, the main vegetation enhancement pack. Should you want to go and pick that one up? Again, thank you. Cheers and goodbye. For, uh, bye for now. <laughs>